Today on Cuphead vs. Hasman Hotel, we've got two gamblers going head to head. In Cuphead, we have the king and owner of the casino himself, King Dice. And in the other corner, a former overlord of hell in Hasman Hotel, Huss. So who wins this fight between two popular gamblers? Let's find out. And also, just to let you know, I'm going to be using the game version of King Dice and not the show version of King Dice since I did make a poll on my channel asking you guys which version of King Dice I should use and a lot of you guys said that I should use the game version so for the sake of this Husk is going to be fighting the game version of King Dice so with all that out of the way let's actually get into it first up is strength first off let's go with King Dice King Dice is said to have superhuman levels of strength which is honestly pretty um, impressive, I should say, but we don't really know if he does have the superhuman strength considering that he's never shown any true feats of strength in the games. So we'll just give him superhuman strength. And I really couldn't find anything regarding Husk's strength. Also, since he never really shows anything in the show regarding his strength, so, for the sake of this, King Dice takes the first point in strength. Next up is speed. Again, King Dice is said to have supersonic speed, though there isn't really anything in the game to prove this feat though. While Husk does have an advantage over King Dice regarding speed, and that's his ability to fly and his reaction speed in battle. While King Dice doesn't seem to have any reaction speed in the games, Husk has shown through all of his different fights, between his fights against a gang of sharks and the final battle in the season finale against the Angel Exorcist. So because Husk has shown more of his speed a lot than King Dice has, Husk gets this point. Now is durability. Let's look at Husk first. Husk, unlike King Dice, does have, or at least seems to have better durability compared to him, since he can't really get hurt by conventional attacks. And what I mean by this is that he can't really get hurt really badly in terms of like regular combat, like hand-to-hand -hand combat or even guns or knives can't really seem to hurt him. Well, can't really seem to hurt him as much as it would hurt a regular person. But again, demons, or demons are humans, but they're more superior than humans when it comes to durability. And also, he's taken many attacks from shark gangs with only a few scratches on him, and even some attacks from angels with angelic weapons, which may I remind you, are the only things that are said to kill sinners and demons like Husk. While King Dice is said to have at least small city level durability, he has been defeated by uh, Cuphead and Mugman, which I couldn't really gather the information on how durable both of them are, so Husk gets another point. Now is a bit of an interesting one, Intelligence. So King Dice being the said manager of the Devil's Casino in the game, he's has to have the smarts in order to run the place, but he also has superior manipulation skills and is also very cunning. While Husk is a good listener and a master gambler, then that won't really do anything or be helpful for him in a fight. So King Dice will get the point. So right now the score right now is 2-2. Two to two. Now here's the hardest one for me to do, abilities and powers. So King Dice has many different abilities across the game. He can create portals, can increase in size to great proportions, can break the fourth wall, and also create an army of cards from his hands. That is a lot of powers. And Husk doesn't really seem to have as many or the same abilities as King Dice does, but he can make cards, poker chips, and explosive dice appear in, in his hands, similar to King Dice. He does have a bit of mort immortality, since nothing King Dice can do can really hurt him. can fly, obviously, and being a cat demon, 
he has supernatural senses. So this one was a really close one. King Dice can make an army of cards and can create portals from one place to another and can increase his size and strength. But Hus can fly away from from the attacks that he's making and can keep Dice at bay with his cards and dice. So both of them do have good abilities to keep each other at bay. So because of that, this will be a tie. Okay, this one is pretty obvious with or when it comes to battle intelligence or battle experience since Husk has been in way more fights than King Dice has. Although a lot of people or a lot of you watching this right now may be thinking that King Dice has been in more fights considering the boss fight that we have against him. He never really fights back against Cuphead or Mugman depending on who you're playing as and only ever fights him or only ever fights the player once uh, you get to the final phase of his boss fight. So, because of this, Hus gets the point. Okay, this was an extremely close fight. And with all the information that I've gathered throughout this, the winner of this fight would be... Well... It would probably depend on a few things. Okay, now hear me out, hear me out, alright? King Dice seems like the obvious winner because of his size manipulation, his extreme intelligence, and all of his other abilities in order to keep Husk at his toes. But there's also one thing that could potentially give King Dice a hard time with Husk, and that's simply because Husk's flight abilities, his other weapons, and also the big, big fact is that he doesn't really have a way of permanently killing Husk. I mean, we've already covered that the only way to kill a demon is with angelic weapons, which are only carried through angel or angels or exorcists. And since King Dice doesn't have any or doesn't have any knowledge of I mean, of said angelic uh, weapons or angelic metal, he doesn't really seem or he wouldn't really seem to know if he could really kill him. And, and that's something that DICE severely lacks. But on the other hand, since DICE does have incredible durability, we don't really know if Husk's weapons, like his DICE, his cards, or even his poker chips, maybe, we don't really know if that'll do anything to him, considering that um, King DICE has taken attacks from Cuphead and Mugman, which do have more, or with their weapons, they do have more power against it than Husk's weapons. So that's pretty much it. In the end, this fight would be a draw because Dice doesn't have anything in his arsenal that could really kill Husk permanently. Even if he was somehow able to um, like annoy, annoy Husk with all of his abilities, he doesn't have anything to kill him permanently. And the same goes to Husk. So that's it. This fight would be a draw. It could go either way, but we're not giving Dice the benefit of the doubt that he has angelic weapons. So it's a draw. Do you guys agree or disagree with me? I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys disagree with me. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And let me know some Cuphead vs. Hasman Hotel matchups you guys want me to cover on this channel. But that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I've been your host, Lunacy Number and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.